Hello, my loves, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Maria. This is a channel about spirituality. Please subscribe below to see more videos like this. Today, we're going to be talking about the higher triangle of Shakti, or the higher triangle of the mother. A seed, one of the portals in your body that brings forth your divine feminine energies. Um, it is a very strong portal. It is something lesser known, perhaps, in spiritual circles. It is something that I have channeled for my new book. The book is not out yet, so I cannot give you a link yet, guys. But um, for the past year and a half, I have been on a journey of discovery, really, on a journey of discovering the different facets of divine feminine and anchoring divine femininity into our earthly plane of existence. So actually, divine femininity anchored turns sacred, right? So sacred femininity is divine femininity anchored. And there are many topics that I write about in the book, but this is a very special portal within our our bodies that we all have. Men, women have them, doesn't really matter. We all have access to the energies of divine mother within our own bodies. Now, it's there is not just one portal in our bodies. This is the higher portal. Um, and meaning like it is located within the upper echelon of your body, the upper chakras. I love this portal and I'm going to teach you all about it, how to open it, you know what it is. But I love this because it allows you to move massive amounts of energy. It allows you to massively release things from your body that you no longer want. It allows you to massively attract and magnetize things into your orbit that you do want. It allows you to be a lot more intuitive with decision making. It allows you to flow with the universe, be more synchronized to everything else in existence. It is just such a beautiful energy and such a beautiful portal. And honestly, it is such an honor to be able to share this with you. Um, yeah, so um, the higher up triangle of Shakti is located between actually three spots in your body, but really it's four. So the top of the triangle is in your third eye, right in your third eye area. Um, the other two points are in your shoulders. So literally, it's the triangle that stretches from your third eye down to your shoulders. It also passes through your higher heart over here, which is in your thymus gland, right? Your thymus gland is your higher heart. I made a whole video about thymus gland um, not too long ago. We will link it down below for those of you who are curious to learn about the higher heart. So once you activate the triangle in this area of your body, you essentially open the portal to the Divine Mother. The Divine Mother can interact with you. She can send you things. You can send her things. So it is energetic communication that is open between you and the Divine Mother. Opening this portal enables you to see clearer into the future. So Claire uh, Voyance opens up for a lot of people. Another byproduct of opening up um, the higher Shakti Triangle would be... Um, access to the Akashic records, right? Like having clarity around the way things are, communicating with spirit as well. And in general, this portal really harmonizes your energy in more ways than one. Um, it really balances out the masculine and the feminine side of your body. Now, on planet Earth, there is a disbalance right now. I feel like I talk about this literally in every single video that I make, right? We are living on a masculine forward planet. Our North Stars for the society at large are very masculine, right? This, this is the planet of achieving. This is the planet of intellect. This is the planet where success is lauded. Um, and, you know, where some of the feminine char characteristics such as softness and, and empathy are second stage. Now, it is all shifting. We are all moving into the era of the maiden, if you will, or the age of the mother. So like everything in life, you know, there is a pendulum, right, that swings from one polarity to the other. And so pretty much every single planet in existence within the matrix would always uh, go in between the two polarities, those polarities, at least the, those planets that exist within polarity, right? So you would swing the mat, you would swing the pendulum towards masculinity, and then in inevitably you're going to have to bring it back into femininity. Now, some planets that exist, exist in perfect equilibrium, and there are those also. But I would say in third dimensional reality, there is a lot of swinging. There is a lot of back and forth. And so on planet Earth, you have ages that are governed by the femininity, and then you have ages that are governed by masculinity. And then you have the great transition period, which is what we're going through right now. And so arguably, right, all of us 
incarnate in bodies are going to be displaying a lot more of our masculinity than our femininity, right? Regardless of what gender we subscribe to. And a lot of our feminine characteristics are in the background. So anytime we get to activate the higher Shakti triangle, we balance things out. We become the solution to the problem. We open up our hearts. We bring more equilibrium into this planet. And therefore, we start to emanate equilibrium. As such, everything that we touch equalizes, right? Like when we are in balance, everything and everyone we come across becomes equalized. Now, back to the actual triangle. How do you activate it? There are two ways to activate the triangle. The first one is purely in a meditative state, right? You would close your eyes. The way you activate the triangle is you first have to activate the area of your third eye. And by the way, you can, you can do the little tapping technique. You see like what I'm doing right now, just a gentle tapping on the forehead. So you would imagine your area of your third eye lighting up and starting to pulsate with purple. Then you would imagine actually like a descending stream going from your third eye into your higher heart, almost like a waterfall inside of your body, right? Falling. And then you would activate your higher heart. It's pink in terms of color. And then the other two points that you need to activate are the two points in your shoulders. When you touch it, um, it's the point where the bone is sticking out, if you know what I mean. Like, you cannot really miss it, um, usually. Like, your your socket is right here. You activate these two points in the meditative state. Like, just by sending light into your shoulder chakras, they would light up as white points, right? So, again, violet over here, purple, pink in the high heart, and then white in the shoulders. And then you would imagine tracing the triangle, starting from the top, then going to the shoulder, usually it's the right shoulder, passing through the higher heart into the left shoulder, and then going up, right? That is, essentially, you need to trace the triangle three times in order for it to be activated in the meditative state. And then it's a portal. And it's a triangular portal, and it goes forwards, the energy goes forward, and the energy moves backward. And again, how would you work with with, with this? Um, If you are looking to attract something into your orbit, into your life, like a manifestation, right? You imagine an object that you're trying to manifest right in front of you, and then you imagine it floating inside of your Shakti portal, like that. If you're looking to eliminate something, let's say it is a wounding, let's say it is a bad memory, let's say it is a bad feeling, like anything you may choose to eliminate from your body, just imagine it going through the Shakti portal, like the higher um, triangle, out of your body. So that movement forward, right? So going out. Um, That is just two very simple ways to work with a portal. Um, Remember how I told you there's not just one way to activate the triangle? The first one is a a meditation. The second one is actually a physical activation. And this is something that I think enough of you are going to be able to do. So we're going to be using the power of our fingers. Do you guys know how our hands are transmitters, right? A lot of healers Um, When they do heal, they heal with the hands because hands are amazing tools to pass, you know, energy through. Um, Even if you think about magic and the the concept of a magical wand, a wand actually is um, a tool that helps condense and concentrate energy. But what energy does the wand concentrate? The energy from your hands. That's why most wands are held in hands. Uh, Magic staffs. Do you guys know the staff like the, the Gandalf has the staff? Those things also get charged by your hands. So pretty much any object that you do have takes the magic from your hand and, you know, um, is able to accelerate it, amplify it. And that is how, you know, um, people in in the days of old used to be able to do magic and and use these tools to literally amplify their natural born powers. So we're going to use the powers of our hands and our natural inborn wands. So you're going to use your index finger and you're going to use your middle finger. In this, there is like special significance for each finger. Usually um, in in this universal language of um, energy, your index finger is um, or stands for this is my will, right? The the will of me as an individual. This is my will. I'm doing something according to my will. The middle finger is this is the will of the universe or this is the will of God or this is the will of source, right? So when I bring two of these powers together, then it's my will and it meets the will of the universe. We're unstoppable. So when you put two fingers together like that, right, you get massive concentration of energy just in these two fingers. What you can do is you can activate any of the four points using your fingers. 
as if they were a magic wand. You would start from your third eye and you would imagine as if like your third eye, if you could press a button, imagine like pressing a button in the middle of your forehead. And once you press the button, you would notice like you start activating that center. But the most important thing for you to do is you don't want to be using your energy for any of these practices. You want to be using the energy of the universe. For that to happen, you almost want to imagine that you're getting out of your own way and allowing the white flow of energy from the universe to enter your third eye, activating it. Then you need to activate the other two points on the shoulders. And um, I actually like to do it crisscross. Uh, for me, it works better like that, right? Again, find those uh, points in your shoulders that are sticking out. And you're going to do the same thing on both, both hands. Imagine pressing the buttons as if your shoulders had the buttons. And you want to apply pressure for this exercise, right? When activating those points, you want to apply pressure. Not so much pressure that you're going to break your fingers, right? Everything in moderation, you guys. No need to overdo it here. But you, you want to gently press into your shoulders, close your eyes, and imagine getting out of the way once those buttons are pressed and the white light, literally, starting to course through in your shoulders, activating it, activating them. You would notice if you stay here for about three to four minutes that naturally what ends up happening is by pointing, by holding your fingers like that, you start activating your third eye like nobody's business. You may even get a tingling in your third eye. And that is because the, sh the Shakti triangle you know, works, it's a portal, right? Like you activate two points of the triangle, the triangle is going to start getting activated, right? And that is how, that is another way that you know that th this teaching is true. This is like a way that you can double check. So once the three points are activated, the last thing to activate would be the high heart, just so that all our actions are heart centered. So you would press on your higher heart, again, get out of the way, let the universe do the work. And then again, imagine the triangle getting activated by allowing light to circulate through that triangle three times. And that is what jump starts it. Um, what are some of the other things that you can use this triangle for? Getting illuminated, meaning getting like an aha moment, uh, when you need a breakthrough, when you get an insight, when you need a download, when you have a larger than life question that you don't know what to do about, or when you are unsure about your direction, activate the higher Shakti triangle. When you would like uh, a one-on-one -on -one healing from Divine Mother, you can open this portal. She can come right through. If you would like to become more intuitive or more in tune with the planet around you, right? All the living things around you, all the living things are connected to the Mother. You would activate the higher Shakti triangle. If you would like to see things better with your third eye or open the communication to the other side, to spirit, you would open the, the higher Shakti triangle. When you are ready to get on to the next level in life, uh, because what ends up happening is, as a byproduct of opening this portal in your body, things, even unbeknownst to you, are going to start getting um, evacuated out of your body. Like all the things that have been holding you down, this portal is going to start getting uh, to, like, it, it's going to start, um, get to work essentially, right? Clearing, removing all the darkness. What would that do? That would free up a lot of space in your vessel, in your body. When space is opened up, new things must come in, into its place, must come into the, your orbit. And usually those new things are better than the ones that were before. And so for massive upgrades, you may want to activate the Shakti uh, triangle every day, right? Does it take a long time? I think once you get the hang of it, probably a couple of minutes. But I really found it to be extremely instrumental uh, when I need to shift my mood, uh, it, it happens really, really, really quickly. When I need to get aligned in a process of creation because the mother is such a patron. She's the patron saint of all types of creativity. So anything that you want to create, um, the energy that is going to course through your body with the help of this portal is going to be high frequency, high vibrational, in integrity in alignment with your higher good. And also, once you start working with this with this triangle, you would notice that the things that it does for you are unique to you as well. There, there are going to be something or certain things that this portal allows you to do that are bespoke and unique to you. Because when you start working with the Divine Mother, she opens up her entire toolbox to you. And what you need 
may not be what the other person needs right next to you. And so the Divine Mother and working with the Divine Mother is always a one-on-one -on -one endeavor. So other amazing things and downloads and codes are going to come through the Higher Shakti Triangle for you. And I'm just, uh, I cannot wait for you to experience this. It is such a beautiful spiritual tool. And I, I love it with all my heart. That's it, my darlings. Please let me know in the comments how this sounds. If you have been working with energy of Shakti or even Kundalini or with the Divine Mother, I'm you know excited to learn about your experiences. If you have any fun practices to share with me or the community, please do so in the comment section below. I'm sending you a big virtual hug and I will see you in the next one. Bye, loves.